In our last video, we talked about the leaks and rumors going around that some precious Xbox titles that are exclusive to the platform might be coming to PlayStation, including games like Halo, specifically more for this channel, and various other games like Hi-Fi Rush, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and others. And at the time, those leaks and rumors, big freaking whoop. But we pretty much had a confirmation about these leaks and rumors from Phil Spencer. He went to Twitter to say this, saying, we are listening and we hear you. We've been planning a business update event for next week where we look forward to sharing more details with you and our vision for the future of Xbox. Stay tuned. So my initial impressions of that is rather vague. And of course, I just hate the phrase of we're listening and we hear you. That's kind of going like, okay, I saw what you said but I might just kind of go off and do my own thing. But the interesting thing Phil said within this little tweet, you know, just a few words right here, that he didn't straight up deny the rumors and leaks. You would think that if they weren't happening at all, well, first of all, just referring to leaks and rumors from a person like Phil Spencer makes it way more legitimate because usually guys at this high level of the gaming industry don't respond to leaks and rumors kind of going around, but like, hey, the Xbox looks like they're having their exclusive titles coming over the PlayStation and maybe vice versa. We would have to wait and see when it comes to that. But uh, straight up did not deny it one bit. So it's kind of interesting and in saying that we'll have more information for us next week with uh, more details and things like that. That's gonna be kind of interesting to see how Xbox moves forward. Are they continually going to be making consoles? Because if you're gonna be moving some of your key exclusive titles to other platforms, it's gonna make the relevancy of having to buy an Xbox less important, right? And also not too long ago, back in November, Phil Spencer did say this, saying that Xbox is a community of players. So it's important to build a community of players across a variety of platforms, which gives the community and the brand even more strength. Just as we consider the ROG, Ally, and Steam Deck as part of the Xbox community, we need to think of the many Nintendo Switch and PlayStation users as part of the Xbox community in the future. That is directly from Phil Spencer. So. It just seems like things are going to be expanding a little bit more. And on a recent article on The Verge, a very credible gaming news information website, saying that Microsoft weighs in launching Indiana Jones on the PlayStation 5. And it sounds like basically with the tentative date right now of December 24 for the Indiana Jones game to be released, it sounds like there might be some timed exclusivity when it comes to the Indiana Jones game, where maybe like six months down the line, it gets released on the PlayStation. So you still have that importance of a console to be needed to be able to play this game when it first comes out because when the game first comes out it's hype it's excited it's when the most of the sales have been especially for single player games like this so it would actually be a rather smart play for xbox to first release the games on their platform right so you get that first initial access jump in with the community at large to kind of experience these games and then maybe like six months down the line you announce the release on other platforms just to kind of get an extra boost of sales and also just get people inside that xbox ecosystem and be like, hey, Xbox content's actually pretty good. Now, when it comes to Halo coming over the PlayStation, I'm actually all for it because I absolutely love this franchise and I want people to be able to experience the joy that I've had for decades as an Xbox and PC fan to give that joy to others, right? Let them have a chance to play amazing games like the Master Chief Collection, even Halo Infinite. Because the current leaks and rumors of the multiple titles coming over the PlayStation, the Master Chief Collection is one of those games. Though we do know that the head of PlayStation, Jim Ryan, it's not the biggest fan of Xbox's game service delivery system as Game Pass. And he was quoted on Game Pass saying, I can say with a very high degree of certainty that Microsoft has tried the first path and it did not work at all. That has driven them to make the large acquisition. I talked to all the publishers and they unanimously do not like Game Pass because it's value destructive and not on an individual title basis, but also or and and industry level. The recent number of subscribers that Microsoft announced on January was 25 million 
and I'm sure everyone has their own views on this, but I personally was expecting a larger number given all the money they have spent. We have close to 50 million PlayStation Plus subscribers. We believe we have a meaningful subscription service. So when I read this, I'm like, okay, maybe we won't be getting PlayStation games coming over to the Xbox would be an absolute shame. Though we have seen PlayStation games recently coming over to the PC side of things, most notably the God of War series as well as The Last of Us. But this could just be a big brain play by Phil Spencer just to get people on different platforms to play Xbox games to go, wow, this is actually a fun time. What other games does Xbox have to offer that I've never had a chance to play? Get them within the ecosystem, and then they, before you know it, they're Xbox fans. At least that's the idea. And that same could apply to Halo, where you've had decades of PlayStation players, I'm sure, who have wanted to play Halo and never had the opportunity to do so. And now you might actually have your chance to play some of the greatest FPS games ever created in gaming, which I would say PlayStation has always been really weak on when it comes to their experience. Yeah, they've had the exclusivity early access stuff when it comes to Call of Duty, but that's been losing its prominency. And now that Call of Duty is part of Xbox now, you can pretty much assume that any new agreements to give PlayStation exclusivity, not really happening. If you want some more information about the leaks and rumors, well, check out this video right here and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out.